guys, it's Allie and I am back today with another video. This is going to be another business related video all about how to find vendors for your website and where to buy products if you're opening up a store. Before we get started, this is my new Sherpa two-piece set. I'm wearing it in the camel color. I have two other colors, a mauve light pink color and an ivory color, which is like a white color. It's so comfy. It's just as soft on the inside as the outside. There's like no lining or anything. Um, it's just so soft. Anyways, it'll be linked in the description box with my website and all my social medias and all um, these resources that I'm about to talk about. So make sure you check out the description box down there. While you're down there, you can hit the subscribe button and you can hit the like button too, because you're going to like this. Before I get started on teaching you how to find vendors, you need to make sure you have a seller's permit because you can't check out any of these vendors or you can't buy wholesale without a seller's permit. All about that is in my last video on how to start a business. If you don't have your seller's permit and you can't buy wholesale yet, then go back to that last video, watch that one first. It's gonna teach you all about the first steps you need to do to get to this point where you're now looking for places to buy from so you can stock your store and get inventory. So that video will be linked down in the description box too. So you might need to go watch that one first. So if you are ready to start buying wholesale products for your business, you might not know where to start with finding vendors. And I had to kind of just slowly learn the best ways to find them. First, I wanna talk about vendor lists. I kept running across vendor lists as I was looking for vendors. It is literally just a list of vendors that you can then go look up. And it crossed my mind and I thought about purchasing one, but I never did. And now that I have done my own research and found my own vendors, I would not encourage you to purchase a vendor list because you can do your own research and find your own vendors. So I wouldn't spend money on doing that. So here's how to find them on your own. Okay, so I have a little list on my phone so I make sure I don't miss anything. So the first thing you can do is check out social media. You can find vendors on TikTok, on Instagram, on Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube. Um, just start searching hashtag on TikTok. I went and I searched like hashtag wholesale, hashtag wholesale vendors, hashtag where to buy wholesale. Videos will pop up of creators like me that have a store that are creating content to teach other people and they will be giving out free information and it'll just be a couple little vendors here and there. You'll have to watch multiple videos, start writing them down, making a list, and then you can go back and look all those up. So I watch multiple YouTube videos. Some YouTube videos will give you a whole list of vendors. Pinterest has some free vendors on there. You can maybe join like Facebook groups, stuff like that. You can find resources on all social media. Another good way is just plain old Google search. You can search a specific thing like graphic tee wholesale vendors or women's clothing wholesale vendors, whatever. You might get stuff that pops up or another good way to search vendors is just typing a random word and then wholesale after it. Um, Cause a lot of wholesale companies are like named the most random things. So, you know, I just started typing like random things like, um, like hearts wholesale and then like random stuff will pop up and you just have to dig through and eventually you might find some vendors that way. Then another thing you can do, check on third party websites. So third party websites are going to be um, something like Amazon where there's a multiple sellers on the website. So some third party websites that sell wholesale products to boutiques are um, Fashion Go, LA Showroom, um, Orange Shine, and then there's a couple others. So basically on there, there's tons of wholesale vendors and it's just one site where you can shop through all of the vendors at the same time basically like on Amazon. A lot of those vendors, especially like the really good quality, reputable ones, will have their own websites, but they also sell on these third party, you know, websites to make more sales. So what I like to do is I like to go through all of those, find ones I like, and then search them up and find their own websites and buy directly from them or compare prices. It's usually safer to shop directly from them than through a third party website even though the third party websites are safe and fine too. There is tons and tons and tons of vendors on there. I know on Fashion Go, you can sort vendors by ratings. So you can sort and look through all the five star vendors and that gives you like a really good starting place. And then you can see the products right on there. So you can, you know, see if you like the style before you go sign up on their website. Another thing you can do is go through your closet. So go through your closet and look at all the tags in your closet because I know you've probably shopped at a boutique before or even not a boutique. Uh, a lot of just regular stores that are in your mall 
are buying wholesale like PacSun buys in wholesale the buckle buys in wholesale like they're buying from all these wholesale vendors that you can buy from too so go through your closet look at the tags write all those names down and then go look them up and see if you can find their website and then another thing that's very similar in looking in your own closet at the tags is you can go look in other stores at their tags so go around to other boutiques in your area. Go around to the stores like The Buckle or any place that you know is buying wholesale. Go around, look at their tags. You can find really great wholesale companies that way because you can tell in the store the quality of the product. So you already know they're like a reputable brand when you look them up. So that really helps. I feel like that sounds kind of weird like to go into stores and like, oh, you're, you know, you're stealing their vendors. And it's not quite like that because you might not, I mean, you're not going to be getting the same exact thing that they carry. That that vendor that they have bought from sells hundreds of things. So you can get that one vendor and go on and then you get to pick out your own style of items for your store. So, you know, it's not like you don't want to go into a boutique and get exactly what they have, but you're just looking for those name brands that you can then look up and then buy other things from, if that makes sense. Also, um, check on other stores websites so check out big boutique stores like um, Princess Polly Tiger Mist or stores like the buckle Urban Outfitters they are all buying wholesale and you can sort on their websites by brand so they literally will give you their whole brand list just on their website you can copy all those brands down and you can go look up all those brands and some of the brands are in-house brands where you won't be able to buy from them um, but most of those brands are going to sell wholesale to small boutiques so then when you found your vendors you will apply to their websites to apply you have to upload your seller's permit and they might ask for a couple other things maybe some receipts and then they'll let you in it probably will take a couple days maybe even weeks some places took really long to get me access into their website so you have to be patient and wait and finally you'll get access into their website i would suggest to make sure you check out their reviews check out their photos are their photos good quality or do their photos look like they're stolen you know um you can you can tell by the quality of the website whether the clothes would be good quality too so make sure you're keeping your eye out for those red flags you have to just be really careful also i would suggest to always check out their return policy because if you're ordering online you never know the quality or you never know you know there could be a mix-up you want to make sure you're working with somebody that's going to work with you if there's any issues and you know that there's a return policy in place in case you're not happy with the products other than that i would say just try out as many as you can get on a bunch of websites look around um but it takes a lot of research to find your vendors it takes a lot of time and money to test out vendors to figure out you know what works for your store and stuff yeah that is all i have for you guys today i just wanted to share a little bit about how you can find vendors and how you can find places to buy from i've had a lot of people kind of ask me uh questions about that and it's kind of hard to answer because i mean i buy from so many different places and honestly i don't remember the name of any of them um i just have a whole list on my google docs and i have like my favorites at the top i have a whole list of places that i can buy from and i might buy like one thing here and there and i never remember where it comes from or like i never remember the name the names are always so random so don't ask me where i get stuff from because honestly i don't have anything to tell you but i am going to start directing people to this video so you guys can just take this information and then find these places on your own because any place that i have ever bought from i found it on my own so if i can find it on my own on the internet so can you um and just for example i had a girl try to charge me a thousand dollars for her jewelry vendor and obviously i knew that that was like a huge scam and she would have probably given it to me but it's not worth a thousand dollars i found the vendor in less than 20 minutes um i had ran across her while i was doing research trying to find the vendor right after that i found it myself so you know just be aware of that when you are checking out vendor lists and when you're asking people um where they're buying their stuff from you can find it on your own so just do the research trust me it makes it all worth it in the end to just figure it out on your own if you found this video helpful make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to follow me on my personal social media and my store social media all the information and resources that i mentioned in this video will be linked down below so all those third-party websites will be linked and other stuff down there so make sure you check that out too thank you guys for watching i'll see you next time bye